We really needed at this time to be able to make the difference between an underground track and a high potential track. Of course, we uh, we had discovered many famous French artists with a, an international wide career, such as Daft Punk, David Guetta, or Bob Sinclair. But of course, there are if we identified those artists, it's because we made data, because those data had us gave us the conviction uh, that all those tracks were had a much bigger potential than other tracks with the, with the same quality, but for other reasons, maybe because they were released too early, too, too late, or maybe uh, they were too underground. They didn't fit with the market so far at the time when we played the track. So we always had a very, very close relationship to um, Datas. And of course, the situation has changed a lot because till uh, the Y2K or 2010, the only way to have data around music was the radio research. Whereas since the DSP, the digital streaming platforms, have been launched, the music industry now is focusing on data. So we have other data and uh, thanks to the partnership uh, we have with Hyperworld, we changed a lot the way um, we ask uh, for uh, all the criterias and the way we do the interpretation changed a lot as well. So yes, since the beginning, we've been working with data and I think those data uh, contributed a lot to the marvelous and in international careers that Radio FG uh, um, um, co-built with the, with the artists.